In this lecture session, we will try to solve all the problems from exercise 11.1 .1 of your textbook. So let's see the first problem. So the first problem states that consider a, a right angle triangle. So this is 90 degrees, it's 90 degrees at B. So you have AC is 25 centimeters, AB is 24 centimeters, and BC is 7 centimeters. Okay, so find first one sine A cos A and two sine C and cos C. Right, so I guess we have to find. AC, I guess, yes. So we need to find AC. So AB is known, BC is known, AC is not known. So using Pythagoras theorem, AC square is AB square plus BC square, right? So this is 24 square plus 7 square. So what do we get? What is 24 square? It is 576. So you need to calculate and we know that 7 square is 49 which gives me 625. So 625 root is 25. Okay, so now we find AC which is 25 centimeters. Okay, so now I need to find sine of A. So this is the angle A. So what is sine A? So sine A is opposite side which is BC by the hypotenuse AC. Okay, so it is 7 by 75. Next, cos A. So what is cos A? We are just inside AB by the hypotenuse AC which is 24 by 25. Okay, so this is with respect to angle A. So now we have to calculate sine C and cos C. So now we consider with respect to angle C. Okay, so what is sine C? So now we consider the angle which is opposite to C. So what is the angle opposite to C? Opposite to C is AB. So AB by AC. The hypotenuse remains the same. So it is 24 by 25. Cos C. What is cos C? The side adjacent to C is BC by AC, which is 7 by 25. Okay? Right? So this is a very simple problem where we need to find. So the second question we have a right angle time triangle PQR given in figure where PQ is 12, PR is 13, we need to find QR, find tan B minus cot R. Okay, find tan B minus cot R. So now we need to find QR. So how can we find QR by using Pythagoras theorem? So we have PR square equals PQ square plus QR square. So this is 13 square equals 12 square plus QR square. So what is QR? 13 square is 169 minus 12 square is 144. So I get root 25 which is 5. Okay. So very simple. So we get QR which is now 5. So let me write 5 here. Right. So I need to find tan P. So tan P is with respect to angle P here. So what is tan P? So tan P happens to be opposite side by adjacent side. What is the opposite side? The opposite side is QR by the adjacent side is 
PQ which is 5 by 12. Okay, so what is cot R? This is R. So cot R is adjacent side by opposite side. Adjacent side is 5 which is QR by opposite side is PQ which is again 5 by 12. So what do we need to find tan P? So tan P is 5 by 12 minus cot R is again 5 by 12 so we get 0. Right? So this is a fairly simple problem. So let's go to problem 3. So let's go to problem 3. It states if If sine A is 3 by 4, then find cos A and find tan A. Okay? So this is again a very simple problem. So sine A. So what is sine A? So let's assume that this is A, this is B and this is C. This is A. Okay. So sin A is opposite side by hypotenuse. Okay. So it has to be BC by AC and this is the adjacent side. So how do, we, how do I find the adjacent side? So AB is nothing but root of AC square minus BC square. Correct. So this is going to be root 4 square minus 3 square which is 16 minus 9 which is going to give me root 7. Okay. So now what is cos A? So this is root 7 now. So I know the value of AB. AB is root 7. So I know the value. So what is cos A? Cos A is adjacent side to A which is AB by AC. So which is root 7 by 4. Okay. Next, tan A. What is tan A? Tan A is opposite side by adjacent side which is BC by AB which is 3 by root 7. Okay. Right. So this again is a fairly simple problem where we just need to find cos A and tan. So let's go to problem 4. Problem 4. Given 15 cot A equals 8. Find sin A and secant A. Okay. So cot A. So this 15 I'll bring it down here. So that gives me 8 by 15. Okay. So if cot A is 8 by 15, what is tan A? It is 15 by 8. Very simple. So this happens to be a right angle triangle again. So let this be A, B and C. B right angle. Right? So A is the angle here. So tan A. What is tan A? Opposite side by adjacent side. Opposite side is 15. Adjacent side is 8. So I need to find the hypotenuse. So what is AC square? AB square plus BC square which is 15 square plus 8 square. Right? So what is 15 square? 225 plus 8 square is 64. So AC is root of this. Okay? So how much is that? 9, 8, 2. Okay? So 289. So we know is root of 289 is 70. So we know that 7 into 7 is 49, isn't it? Okay, so I have a 9 here. So we can guess that it is 70, right? So it has to be a number which is 
slightly close, closer to 15, so I have 17 here. So now what do I need to find? I need to find sine A. So sine A is opposite sine, which is BC by hypotenuse AC, 15 by 70. Okay? So what is secant A? Let's find cos A. What is cos A? Adjacent side by hypotenuse, AB by AC, which is 8 by 70. And what is secant A? It is just the reciprocal of cos A. Secant A is 17 by 8. Right? So we are finished with this problem also. So now let's go to problem 5. Given secant A is 13 by 12, so I need to find all the other ratios. Okay? So secant A is 13 by 12 means cos A is 12 by 13. So we have already found one of them. So let me draw, draw this right angle triangle ABC angle A here. So what is cos A? Cos A is adjacent side by hypotenuse. The adjacent side is 12, hypotenuse is 13. Okay. So by now you should have guessed that if the hypotenuse is 13 and if one of the side is 12, the other side is 5 because 5, 12 and 13 form a pair of sides for a right angle triangle. Right. So anyways, BC is root of AC square minus AB square, we can calculate this. 13 square is 169 minus 144, which is root 25, which is 5. Okay, so now we can find out all the values. So can you tell me what is sine A? Sine A is opposite side, so I will not write BC by AC. I will write the values directly. Opposite side is BC by AC which is 5 by 13 ok right what is tan A tan A is opposite side 5 by adjacent side 12 what is reciprocal of sin A cosecant A which is 13 by 5 and what is reciprocal of tan A it is cot A which is 12 by Okay, so this completes the fifth problem. So problem 6 is a proof which we should do at the end. Okay, so let's go to problem 7. So we will finish all the problems and then come back to problem 6. Right, so problem 7 if cot A, cot theta is 7 by 8, find tan theta. Okay, we need to find the values, right? Right. So I need to find these two. So I need to find what is 1 plus sine theta divided by 1 plus cos theta into 1 minus sine theta into 1 minus cos theta. And the second one is find cot square theta. Right. So this again is, see how do we solve such problems? Now though such problems look pretty difficult, they are actually very simple here. See cot theta is given, so what is tan theta? It is just the reciprocal 8 by 7. Right? Okay. So now, do I need to find all the other values? No, we don't have to find anything else. Now, I have 1 plus sin theta, 1 minus sin theta. 
So this is of the form a plus b into a minus b. So what is a plus b into a minus b? It is a square minus b square. Right? It is just a square minus b square. So I have, so I can write this as 1 minus sine square theta, a square minus b square. So even here this is a plus b, a minus b. So I have 1 minus cos square theta. Right? In the examples what we did, we got a very important relation which I told you that you need to remember. What is that important relation? That important relation is that sine square theta plus cos square theta equals 1. This is a very important relation which we need to remember. So I have a 1 here. So I will substitute sine square theta plus cos square theta for 1. Right? So this is a very important relation which you need to remember. So 1 is sine square theta plus cos square theta minus sine square theta divided by again I have a 1 here so I will put sine square theta plus cos square theta minus cos square theta so can I cancel sine square theta sine square theta can I cancel cos square theta cos square theta yes so what do I get I get cos square theta by sine square theta what do I get? I get cot square theta because cos by sine is cot. I have cot square theta here also. So both these expressions are one and the same. And what is cot theta? Cot theta is given, which is 7 by 8. So cot square theta is 7 square is 49 by 8 square is 64. Okay? So the answer to the first one is also 49 by 64. The answer to the second one is also 49 by 64. Okay. So to solve this problem, what is the one formula which you need to remember? You need to remember, of course you have to remember a plus b into a minus b is a square minus b square and sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. So this is one important relation which you have to remember. Okay. So now another interesting problem, if we need to check, so here what is tan A, tan A is sin A by cos A, we know that, I have a square, so I get sin square A by cos square A, similarly the denominator I have 1 plus sin square A divided by cos square a. So can I take DLC in? So this is, I have cos square a. So I will get cos square a here minus sin square a. Similarly, I take DLC in here. So taking cos square a, again numerator I will get cos square a which gets multiplied with 1 plus sine square a. Right? So can I cancel cos square a and cos square a? Yes. What is sine square a plus cos square a? It is 1. So this is 1. So we are left with cos square a minus sine square a, which is the required result. Okay? So what is given here is not required at all. Okay? So now let's Move on to the next problem. So here if ABC is right angled at B, so ABC is right angled at B, find the following. Okay. So and if tan A is 1 by root 3. I need to find 1. Sine A cos C 
प्लस कॉस ए साइन सी ओके दिस इज द फर्स्ट वन वी सी द सेकंड वन लेटर सो टैन ए सो व्हाट इज टैन ए ऑपोजिट साइड बाय एडजेसेंट साइड सो लेट मी फाइंड द हाइपोटेन्यूज सो आई नो दैट ए सी स्क्वायर इज ए बी स्क्वायर प्लस बी सी स्क्वायर सो ए बी स्क्वायर इज थ्री बी सी स्क्वायर इज वन सो वट इज ए सी रूट ऑफ फोर विच इज टू सो आई टू हियर ओके सो वट इज साइन ए साइन ए इज ऑपोजिट साइड बाय हाइपोटेन्यूज विच इज वन बाई टू वट इज कॉस ए adjacent side by hypotenuse root three by two okay so next what is sin c with respect to c opposite side by hypotenuse opposite side is root three by two and what is cos c adjacent side to c is one by two so let me substitute the values here sin a is half into cos c is 1 by 2 plus what is cos a root 3 by 2 and what is sin c again root 3 by 2 so what do i get 1 by 4 plus 3 by 4 which gives me 4 by 4 which is 1 very simple problem so now what is the second one I need to find cos a, cos c minus sin a, sin c. What is cos a? Cos a is root three by two. Cos c is one by two minus sin a is one by two into sin c is root three by two. So what do I get? I get root three by four. Minus root three by four, which gives me zero. Okay. So the first one is one. The second one is zero. So let's go to the tenth one, which is a very interesting problem. So what has been given in the tenth problem? So we have triangle PQR, right angle at Q, and this is five. It says PQ is five. Also, one more thing is given: PR plus QR is twenty-five. Centimeters. So this is what is given, right? So how do we find the values? So how do we find all the various values? Is the question. So I need to find sine p, I need to find cos p, and I need to find tan p. So this is what has been given here, isn't it? Okay. So now. let us see what can be done here i have this expression so let me take the square of this pr plus qr the whole square equals 25 square so this is like a plus b the whole square which is a square which is pr square plus 2 pr into qr plus b square which is qr square Equals twenty five square, which is six twenty five. Okay, so this is one equation. Okay, so now from the Pythagoras theorem, we know that P R square equals P Q square plus Q R square, right? So what is P Q? P Q is Phi square. So therefore, I have P R square minus Q R square equals P Q is phi. Phi square is twenty five. So this is the second equation. 
So let me write the second equation here. So PR square minus QR square, I'm just writing the elements one below the other, equals 25. So this is the second one. Okay. So what do I do? I add 1 and 2. Okay. So when we add 1 and 2, what happens is that. So QR and QR will get cancelled. So I get 2 PR square plus 2 PR into QR. And this is 625 plus 25, it's 650. So here, if you observe these two terms, what is common? 2 is common. And PR is common. Okay? So I can take 2 PR common. So I get PR plus QR equals 650. So what is PR plus QR given? 25. Okay, so this is 2 into PR into 25 it equals 650. 25 into 2 is 50. So PR into 50 equals 650. 0, 0 I cancel. PR equals 65 by 5. What is 65 by 5? It is 13. So this is 13. If this is 13 and this is 5, we know that. QR has to be 12 because I already told you that 13, 12 and 5 they form the sides of a right angle triangle. Right? So I will not do the calculation once again. You can see that 13 square minus 5 square will give me 12 square. Okay? So now you can find all the relations. What are the relations asked? So I need to find sine P. So what is sine P? Opposite side, which is 12 by hypotenuse 30. Next, I also need to find cos P. Adjacent side is 5 by hypotenuse 30. And I need to find tan P. Very simple, which is opposite side, 12 by adjacent side, 5. Right? So this is a very simple problem. Only thing is, we, you have... PR plus QR equal to 25 here. Take the square of this. Okay? So you get A plus B the whole square. Call that as equation 1. One side has been given. So use the, high, the Pythagoras theorem. And you will get PR square minus QR square equals 25. You just add both of them. Substitute the value of PR plus QR here. And you will get PR which happens to be the hypotenuse. So once you know two sides, you can always find the third side using Pythagoras theorem. Okay? So then we, you can find all the ratios very easily. Right. So problem 11, we have a few true or false statements. Tan A value is always less than 1. Is it true or false? Suppose I have a right angle triangle like this. 13, 12 and 5. So this is A, B and C. What is tan A? Opposite side by adjacent side. So is this greater than 1? Yes, it is greater than 1. So tan A need not be less than 1 always. Okay? Because these two sides, so it depends on the two sides here. It depends on the angle. So tan A can be greater than 1. Tan A can be less than 1. So the first one is a false state. Right? So you have secant A which is 12 by 5. 
So this is definitely a true statement given here. So secant A, if secant A is 12 by 5, cos A is 5 by 12. So this is a true statement. Next, cos A is the abbreviation of cosecant A of angle A. Cosecant of angle A. Cos A is the abbreviation of cosecant of angle A. True or false? It is false because cos A is the abbreviation of cosine of angle A. So this is a false statement. So fourth one, cot A is the product of cot and A. Cot A is not the product of cot and A. Cot A indicates that it is the adjacent side by the opposite side, right? So this is basically a false statement. Okay? So fifth one, sin theta equals 4 by 3 for some angle of theta. Yes, it is a true statement. Now I have sin theta which is equal to 4 by 3. Now this is very similar to the second one which says secant A is 12 by 5 which is cosecant A is 5 by 12. So at the adjacent side is 5, the hypotenuse is 12. But here in this case sin theta is 4 by 3 which means that I have the opposite side is 4 and the hypotenuse is 3. Is it possible? Is it possible for the adjacent side to be greater than the hypotenuse, it is not possible. So this is a false statement. So I cannot have a value of sine which is 4 by 3 which is greater than 1 because the denominator is the hypotenuse. Right? So the value of sine is always less than 1. Right? <clears throat> So now let's go to problem 6. I will just give you a hint because this problem is very similar to one of the ex examples what we have done. So you have angle A and angle B. They are acute angles such that cos A equals cos B. Show that angle A equals angle B. Right? So I have A, B and C. So cos A is equal to cos B. Right? So A and B cannot be 90 degrees. So A is one angle here, B is another angle. So I need to have 90 degrees at C itself. So let this be x1, let this be x2 and let this be some value k, the hypotenuse k. So what is cos A? Cos A is adjacent side x1 by the hypotenuse k. What is cos B? Cos B again happens to be the adjacent side x2 by the hypotenuse k. Now what is being given? It is being given that cos A is equal to cos B. Right? So therefore, cos A equals cos B. The LHS are equal. So therefore RHS have to be equal. So x1 by k equals x2 by k. So therefore x1 is equal to x2. So I find that AC is equal to BC. So if AC is equal to BC that in turn implies that angle A is equal to angle Right? So since cos A is equal to cos B, angle A is also equal to angle B. Right? So we have seen all the, we have worked out all the problems from exercise 11.1. 1. 